So I met Bruno. I think that's what happened. Um, it was. Bruno? Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get to that. I actually started as an intern here at the Bar Cantina and um, it, 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 it just really happened by coincidence. I started talking to the general manager at the time and he told me there was a, a vacant spot for an internship and well I, I, I really love this club and I, I was DJing at the time and I, I, I just wanted to work in a more musical environment so I applied for the job. <laughs> Yeah, job you can call it. And uh, well, I got accepted, and that's how I came here into this like awesome club. And one night, they one one day they asked me if I wanted to play an opening slot for yeah for for I think it was Apparat. And I think everybody like it, it was a great night. Everybody really liked it liked it, and I got a residency. So yeah, that's how it all started. This is always such a difficult question, like how do you even describe someone's sound, you know? It would probably be a, a mix between, I, I would call it melodic techno with a twist because it's, of, of course it's melodic, it's techno, but I also love to like mix different styles in between like disco or a bit more housey and I think it always keeps it fresh because if you stick too much to a sound, yeah, it's is really endless tunnel where you come, can barely see the light at the end, you know. I think my sound really did evolve over the years. I, I actually started out with old school house, like Tyree Cooper and yeah, it, it, it was, or Todd Terry. It was really, it was really fun, really party music. And then over time, I, I just discovered different music. I think everyone, you know, like when you get into music, you you only see a fraction of everything that is out there. So while you're learning, you're also discovering. And then it takes years to, in the end, develop your own really special sound. So it did. Yeah. So last, last digital festival, I was just hanging around and I started talking to someone apparently who was Bruno, an agent at Compact and he knew who I was because I was playing the Ipso show that I played yesterday, so I was going to play it. And we just really hit it off and he liked my sound and we just stayed in touch and from one, one thing led to the other and we ended up working together. Often in the music industry you do realize that People are, um, people get to a certain level and they kind of create this distance between them and the people around them. But I feel Compact is this really close, warm family where the biggest artists would just have a nice talk with the smaller artists and really embrace them and want to help them. And I think that's a, a beautiful culture and I'm, I'm really happy to be part of it. Mm -hmm.